we'll take a look at the boundary conditions. At every point on the boundary, the displacement or traction has to be defined. This is analogous to our 1D conduction example where we had to specify either the temperature or the flux which set the gradient of the temperature. So the displacement looks like that and the traction looks like that. The additional complication is that at each point on the boundary we have you know three components of the displacement so we have you know so we need to know it normal as well as tangential directions so this is repeated you know three times over essentially this graphic shows the boundary conditions that we are going to impose on the ANSYS model. Um, so we will fix these three surfaces, the circular surfaces highlighted in purple, and we will pick this uh, inner circular surface uh, that's highlighted in red and apply a 100 pound force. Um, and that's going to be, in, you know, this is going to be Y direction in, in ANSYS. Now that's a displacement boundary condition. So what that will set under the hood is it'll set u equals v equals w equal to zero. Okay, so that looks like that. And it's an essential boundary condition, so it has to be satisfied exactly. Over here at this boundary where we put the load, it's going to set the y component of traction to be 100, 100 pounds, not my favorite unit, divided by the area of the surface highlighter in red. And uh, the traction in the x and y and z directions are going to be zero at this. And each of those looks like that, and you know it, it filters down to a complicated uh, set of relationships on the displacement gradients. And at the boundaries where you don't do anything, um, ANSYS assumes that you have zero traction. So it'll set all three components of the traction to be zero. And again, that's a natural boundary condition. It'll be satisfied only um, approximately. So those are the boundary conditions. And you can see it's a pretty complicated mathematical model. And uh, once you learn answers, it's it's you know it's <laughs> quite easy to solve in answers. I'm awed by the power of the technology.